Good morning. Welcome to the mountains of Colorado. We're doing some winter camping and we are testing the Starlink. Yes, the Starlink system. So we've been using this last week in Denver at our residence, then at our gym, Existence Athletics. We purchased the mobility app on the uh, subscription, monthly subscription, and we took it to one of our favorite spots. I won't tell you where it is, but it is in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. And here is the Starlink. So I'm going to go over in the video, does this work? In those locations more than one location what is the speed how the setup works and all that so a lot to cover let's get into it okay first and foremost some background information we're about 10,500 feet five degrees fahrenheit and yes the starlink is working just fine uh it's a really interesting setup process when it came in i wasn't too sure how to set it up it's kind of vague so i'm gonna do my best to show you how we set it up so we have the starlink app right here i'm gonna open it and it will let us know that it is online as you can see there but it is obstructed and there's a red box around that so that looks bad right that that right there would be kind of like oh man that's not a good spot we gotta move it somewhere well let's just see what speeds we're getting here speeds Oh, that's good. That's even better. Now we're talking. Hey, that's totally usable. I'm, I'm kind of in the way of it too, so I should probably step over here. All right, 80. When I tested it uh, 10 minutes ago, it was 110. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, and so that's totally usable. And as you can see, my buddy Ryan, he's camping over there. He's got his cell phone and his laptop on. He's putting notes in. I have my laptop, tablet, and phone. So that's five devices connected to it. And it's still pushing a respectable amount of speed. Uh, so yeah, that will work for uploading videos or downloading videos and streaming if that's your thing. Or in my case, why I want it so much is for Zoom meetings. So I can do meetings from anywhere uh, with good quality. So that probably speaks to a lot of you out there. How does it work? Well, there's a satellite right here. It's motorized. So I just put, just put it on the ground um, and then it will it'll move itself. It's kind of freaky to see. It kind of moves itself to find the best satellite signal and as you saw obstructions we have plenty of trees right around here and mountains in the way and it still worked with those obstructions sorry it's five degrees my face is numb so um there's a wire that comes out of it a generous amount of wire so you can mount it outside somewhere and then that wire goes into a router that white box right there so that wire is right here is a micro usb and then right here is the AC plug, and the AC plug goes into some kind of power source. Right now we have it plugged into our Yeti 1000 battery. As you can see, it's drawing about 40, 42 watts. I'd say in the low end, 30, and the high end, 65. So let's call it 60, just be safe. And I ran it all night, um, so about, you know, 12 hours of use, and it, it drained the battery from 90% to 14%. So I don't know if you're gonna be running it all night, but it does take up a decent amount of power. The router is rather underwhelming. It looks cool, like, oh, this is a great looking big old router. I sit on your desk. It's got these lights right here that will light up when you have connectivity. Nope, that doesn't change. That's just static. The only light is that little white light you see right there. So kind of underwhelming there, but that is the router slash Wi-Fi. That's how you get your network set up. And that's the tricky part too. I set it up the first day. It came together very well, but I couldn't find Starlink or model number Wi-Fi. Stinky. The network is originally called Stinky. I don't know if it's some kind of inside joke, but then you can go and change it. I changed mine to Sean's Starlink. Make it really easy. But there it is. That is the Starlink system. It looks like $500 deposit. For all the equipment you saw there, the router, the cables, the satellite dish and the mount Let's see if my oh that tea is frozen <laughs> it's so cold that the tea froze um, but you get everything right there it's 110 a month for the basic service for residents how i did it i had it shipped to my residential address i said residence and then once the uh, package arrived activate it pretty simple process i'll make a video on that if you guys would like and then chose mobility for another 25 months so 135 dollars a month as opposed to the rv one my hope was i'd get faster speeds and as i just showed you we're in the middle of nowhere with obstructions not the best setup uh in five degrees fahrenheit weather it was colder than that last night and we're still pushing was it 80 megabytes a second and when i did earlier 100 some megabytes a second so it works it works well and there's five devices on the network right now 
and uh, we're middle of nowhere. We can go snowboarding now. Pretty excited about that. So, if you got any questions, and I hope you do, put those in the comments below. Any observations, you can share with the audience. Share that as well. And if you'd like me to do like a basic, what is the Starlink? How do you set it up? Walk you through the steps. It's kind of a fun process. The app is pretty intuitive. It's kind of overwhelming at the same time. You turn it into a Pac-Man game and you point it toward the sky and you're grabbing satellites and stuff. It's um, they gamified it. It's pretty entertaining. But anyways, if you want that video? I'll put that together as well. I'm Sean Sewell, owner of Antarctic Stoke Fort in Till next time, take care. Mm -hmm.